You know, it's not every day that you find yourself on stage playing music with the legendary Eric Johnson, but that's just where I found myself last week at the Woodshed Guitar Experience. Since then, I've been on a quest to capture the sound of Eric's signature cascading pentatonic runs, which is how I came up with this exercise here that demonstrates two of the most important picking principles that you're going to need if you want to master that sound. Let's check it out. Hey there kids, it's your good buddy, Uncle Ben. Last week I was performing, teaching, and horsing around at the Woodshed Guitar Experience, which is an amazing guitar camp put on by my good buddy Andy Wood over in Crossville, Tennessee. The entire weekend was incredible, but getting to jam on stage with Eric Johnson was truly something special. Since I've been home, I've been working on some of those signature cascading pentatonic runs that Eric does and is playing, and I came up with this exercise right here as a great way to introduce you guys to some of the core essential principles you're going to need if you want to master some of Eric's licks or write some of your own. It's a lot more pattern based and rhythmically organized than some of Eric's licks, so it's not quite as intimidating as just jumping right in the deep end and learning like Desert Rose or something like that. And best of all, you can steal all these phrasing ideas and throw them into whatever scales and stuff you like to start creating some cascading runs of your own. As always, this video is brought to you guys by everybody who supports my channel over on my Patreon page at patreon.com slash benellerguitars. Sign up today for all kinds of bonus goodies, including downloadable tabs and practice tracks to go along with this week's lick. I'll be uploading those at a variety of different tempos, that way you can build your own perfect practice session and start shredding like EJ in no time. So don't delay, sign up today. Gear-wise, for today's video, I'm playing my beloved Sir Modern Satin, and I've got that running into the Synergy Steve Vai Signature Module, and that's running into the UA Aux, as usual. Now let's hear that lick again at stepdad speed. So it looks like that are all based around the two main picking principles we're going to talk about in this lesson. So master this stuff and things like that are going to come easily to you. This is based around the E minor hexatonic Dorian blue scale merge thing that Eric does in a lot of his playing. It's kind of broken into different segments. Here's how the first one sounds. It's a six note phrase and then two five note phrases stacked on top of each other. Here's the six note phrase. This is going to introduce you to the first concept we want to talk about here, which is how Eric will alternate pick as long as it's even number of notes per string. So you can see here on the B string we're using the D and E notes. And then on the high E string we're using G, A, and B. But we're phrasing them in such a way as to turn this three note pattern into four notes, an even number. We're going to play the lowest note, the highest note, the middlest note, and then the lowest note again. That way we turn three notes into four. So alternate picking on even note groupings. Now let's talk about the next principle, which is Eric's love of double downstroke danglers. Here's what I mean by that. Eric 
Eric uses economy picking, but in a semi-limited way. He only goes downstroke to downstroke. He basically never goes up to up with his playing. And one thing that you'll see him do in his phrases a lot is to put a single note dangler on one string with a downstroke, like how we're starting off this first five note phrase. And then follow that through with another downstroke on an adjacent string, like how we do right here. So that gives us that five note phrase I mentioned earlier. One, two, three, four, five. So he's using that single note dangler to kind of shift into economy picking mode. Okay, so there's the first five note phrase. And then here's the next five note phrase. Same kind of phrasing idea. Single note here on the G string. Transitioning to another downstroke on the next string. He's walking up scale. So we have our six note phrase that's alternate picked. And then two five note groups that are economy picked. That gives us a rhythmic bar of 16th notes. Now, most of Eric's phrases are not really rigid 16s like that, but this is just a great way to get these techniques down. So the second phrase here is all based on the same ideas, just starts down here at the 12th position. Here's how it sounds. Our six note alternate picked phrase is using these notes. Same way as we did before. You're gonna walk up, then turn the three notes into four. Then our first five note phrase goes like this. And then the next one is. So you put that all together and should have this. So you'll notice that there's room for other economy picking to happen in there in those five note phrases. You guys might be tempted to go up to up right there. Uh, but again, that's not really how Eric does it. If you really want to get into this mode of thinking the easiest way, just tell yourself this. Whenever you go to a new string, make sure it's a downstroke. It's actually that easy if you think about it that way. Every string starts on a downstroke. So if you just did this, you go into the next string, it's going to be a downstroke. Next, you're fixing to go to a new string, so it's going to be a downstroke. So that's an easy way to think of it. Just always begin a string on a downstroke, and you should be fine. Now we get to the third section of the lick, which jumps down here to the ninth fret. All right, our six-note phrase. Our first five and our second five. That leads us to the fourth phrase, which is down here in the seventh position. It uses that flat five, that blues scale note. Six note phrase uses these notes. And we're gonna phrase it like this. Our first five note phrase. And our second five note phrase. And then I just resolve it there at the end on E, the root note. It's so all together, we have our first lick. Jumping down to 12. down to nine. And then down here to seven. Mm -hmm. 
those double down strokes are going to flow a lot smoother if you kind of think of your pick as being like a paintbrush that only goes down the wall, right? Like if you were just painting down a wall, your paintbrush would always be angled like this, right? You'd never need to turn it this way because you're never going up the wall. We're only going down the wall. That's really going to aid in our double down stroke kind of approach and make those upstroke escapes a lot more easier. So again, one way paintbrush. That's how I want you to think about this stuff. I was kind of under the impression with economy picking for a long time that if you were an economy picking player, you had to be amazing at going down to down and up to up. Down to down always came naturally to me, but up to up I could never I could never really do. And that's because I was trying to go up to up with my paintbrush, you know, angled this way only. If you're going up the wall with your paintbrush pointed this way, you're going to do nothing but ruffle your bristles and make a mess. Uh, I could never get that working and I just thought, well, I guess I'm not an economy picking player. When in reality, a lot of our sickest shredders like uh, Ding Dang Valvoline and Eric Johnson and some of these other guys, they're really only doing half the picture. They're just down to down guys for like 90% of their playing. So don't worry about it if the entire economy picking thing doesn't really work for you. It doesn't work for me either. And it also doesn't work for God level players like Eric Johnson. And as for the alternate picked even number of notes per string idea, I recommend starting off with something you know. Like let's say the blues scale, right? So like in the blues scale on the D and G strings, we usually have this phrase. And this is one of the first places I started kind of turning my phrasing around. Because here's the deal. On the G string there, you got three notes, right? And a lot of guitar players have a tendency to get out the way they came. So in other words, they played these notes on the way up. They're going to be getting off the string the same way, playing down. Uh, but the problem is, is when you do that, it turns into a five note phrase. Down, up, down, up, down. Now again, that would be okay if I was maybe going to another downstroke on an adjacent string. Little uh, downstroke dangler like we talked about. But if I was wanting to keep the alternate picking thing going, I would turn this phrase into this. One, two, three, four. Again, that's low, high, middle, low on that string. That enables me to start that string on a downstroke and end that string on an upstroke, which is what Eric tends to do whenever he's alternate picking stuff. Visualizing the next pentatonic position up is also a great way to create a three note per string kind of phrase. Like for example, if I was here on the high E string, again, I could reach up here into the next position to this A note to create a three note per string phrase and turn it into four instead. Or I could do one of those wind ups Eric does pretty frequently where he'll just walk up then go to the low note. One, two, three, four notes where three once stood. Between that and the double downstroke dangler, you're gonna have everything you need to start creating some awesome cascading pentatonic phrases of your own. So there you go guys, a handful of EJ essentials to get some of those pentatonic phrases working inside of your own playing. A lot of his shreddy stuff is based around those two ideas. If it's even numbers of notes per string, alternate picket. If it's not, do the double downstroke thing. Those are two of the core principles. So if you can master those, all of his stuff is gonna come a lot easier for you. Then you start working in the hybrid picking and all that jazz, uh, but that's, that's a story for another day. Thank you guys as always for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, yada yada yada, as well as support my channel over on that Patreon page, patreon.com slash benellerguitars. That's where you're gonna get the downloadable tab, those practice tracks to go along with today's video, plus tons of bonus material and access to a community of awesome people, just like yourself. So don't delay, sign up today. Well guys, it's been fun as always, but I gotta go get out of here and get my band leader jacket dry cleaned and pressed. So I recommend getting away here from the computer machine, grabbing your guitar, and starting shredding. Let's click it. More picking.